It's time for Woodbine's 10th. Tenth race, second elimination of the 2001 Breeders' Crown three-year-old Coltan Gelding Pace. They're off and pacing and on the attack was on a break as the gate was getting away. This leaves the lead to Big Old Beach Boy to assume command. Klingon Hanover up on the outside. Hawaiian Cowboy on the inside in the top trio. Ameripan Gigolo tracks along in fourth. Classic Hair is fifth away and on the attack refuses to land back down pacing. Goes out of it early and is still on a break. Into the first turn. Big Old Beach Boy Klingon Hanover in search of the pocket and he gets there. Hawaiian Cowboy is back in third. That's a Maripan Gigolo fourth, two more lengths to Classic Hair, and on the attack is still on a break. The opening quarter was 26 seconds flat. Bagel Beach Boy and David Miller, the leader into the backstretch. Hawaiian Cowboy is already pulling out of the three hole. Here comes Hawaiian Cowboy and Ledford uh, making an audacious first half move. The front five are already going into the final, but Hawaiian Cowboy is going to race, and he takes over from Bagel Beach Boy. Back in third along the inside was Klingon Hanover. Second to last in the lead pack. That following in was Ameripan Gigolo ahead of Classic Hair. 55 seconds was the half. Hawaiian Cowboy took over and leads him. Three-eighths of the mile to go. Bagel Beach Boy is back in second. Klingon Hanover sitting in from third. Classic Hair was tipped to the outside. Is fourth and under again. Ameripan Gigolo follows to the outside fifth and out of it since the gate got away was on the attack. It's Hawaiian Cowboy re-pulling on him. Is Bagel Beach Boy at head stretch. Along the inside turning for home, Klingon Hanover, then back to Classic Hair and Ameripan Gigolo, Bagel Beach Boy, Hawaiian Cowboy, Bagel Beach Boy takes over again, off three quarters of 24 and two, Bagel Beach Boy and Miller are driving off, then Classic Hair, a big late rush, Ameripan Gigolo, too late though, Bagel Beach Boy is long gone to win the second elimination by two, Ameripan Gigolo second, Classic Hair was third, Klingon Hanover fourth, Hawaiian Cowboy led it a piece, settled for fifth in one fifth. 51 and 3, uh, a big old beach boy. To Bagel Beach Boy, the 10th race winner of the second elimination of the Breeders' Crown, three year old Colton Gelding Pace of 2001, Jenna's Beach Boy, three year old Bay Colt. From Gift, owned by Arlene and Jules Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania, trained by Jim Campbell. Dave Miller sweeps both divisions of the three-year-old Colt Pace eliminations with lots of clout, and Bagel Beach Boy, who makes it his third and 12 this year, 151-3, and three, a life's mark. Bagel Beach Boy in the 10th. Uh, Jim, uh, you sent out several starters tonight, and I think you've got to be pretty happy with the results. Yeah, we sent out five tonight, and we got four in the final. So uh, I'm very, very happy with that, and um, I'm hoping we can get a good piece of them next week. Let's talk about the two Colts. Uh, first of all, earlier tonight, lots of clout. You said you've been waiting on this guy in this kind of an effort. He's a big, strong, powerful Colt. Um, you know, he's disappointed me a lot this year, and uh, I've always said that if he brings his A game, he can go with the, with the best of them, and uh, he proved that tonight. It just waited a long time for him to do it. Let's turn our attention to this guy, Bagel Beach Boy. Uh, not as fast, but uh, also quite impressive tonight. Uh, were you surprised he was this good? He's been really good, uh, actually, since we put him on Lasix. He went on Lasix uh, after the homes uh, at the Meadowlands on August 4th. And he's really he's gone great races since then. And uh, he, was, he was really good in Lexington. And, uh, you know, I was hoping that if he kept his form that he'd have a good race in him tonight. What will you do with uh, both Colts and uh, the Philly Fun and Strokes this week? Well, Fun and Strokes, I won't do too much with her. We raced her pretty hard in Lexington. Uh, but she's a type of filly. She doesn't require a lot of work in between. And, and these Colts, uh, we'll just blow them out a little bit uh, towards the end of the week. They're, they're, when they're coming right back in six days uh, in this time of the year, they don't need a whole lot of training. And let's talk about uh, who uh, we might see Dave Miller driving in the Colt final next week. Uh, will you have uh, much say in that, or will you let him choose? Um, Dave, Dave has, had said he'd like to go with lots of clout, and he's going to go with lots of clout, and Luke Olette's going to go with Bagel Beach Boy. All right, Jim, uh, congratulations. A great result tonight. Looking for even better next week. Thank you. Jim Campbell, uh, he sends out the winner of uh, both three-year-old Colt Pace eliminations this evening, including Bagel Beach Boy in the 10th.